Dan Perry here, and I'm back with you for part 25 of our TCPIP basics, the continuing with the OSI model, and we're looking con at TCP headers still in this video. Uh, we're going to continue at, uh, examining the headers and talking about those important parts. Now, in the last video, we talked about the sequence and acknowledgement number. In this video, we're going to be talking about some of the flags, and there are a number of flags. Uh, there are really only a few that we are really concerned with for basics of it. That's the acknowledgement, the synchronization, and the finish flag. The flags, basically, they're single bits of information. There are one or a zero saying, yes, the flag is set or turned on. No, it's not. It gives us information about this packet, about the data. And really, again, we're concerned with the synchronization, acknowledgement, and fin or fin finish flag. The sin flag or synchronization flag is used to synchronize the sequence numbers at the start of a communication setting session. So when we're beginning a session, we do something called a three-way handshake. And that three-way handshake allows us to set uh, up the communications. We start by sending a synchronization. We'll get back a synchronization plus from the other end, from the, from the other machine we're communicating with, as well as an acknowledgement from them that they got our synchronization. We will then send them a, an acknowledgement that we received their synchronization. And that's, going, that's our three-way handshake. When we get ready to terminate a communication setting, we use the fin or finish flag to tell both sides that we're finished with the communication session and it can be terminated. In the beginning of a communication session, we do a three-way handshake. It's called a three-way handshake because there are three packets that are used to acknowledge and set up the session and the synchronization, the sequence numbers, the acknowledgement numbers for the session. And basically, we set up, uh, if we've got Bob and Alice's computer and Bob wants to talk to Alice, Bob will send a packet that essentially says, hey, can we talk? And he'll send a send flag with it saying, I want to synchronize this communication session. He'll also send a sequence number saying, okay, this is the first number, the starting number of the packets I'm going to send. Well, Alice sends back an, okay, we'll talk, we can talk, sends her own synchronization number, sends an acknowledgement number acknowledging the sequence that she received from Bob. Then Bob will send back a third packet with an acknowledgement of Alice's synchronization and and will increment the sequence number. So the sequence number uh, gets incremented as we go. So essentially we're saying, Bob says, hey, we need to talk to each other. Alice says, okay. Then, well, let's start talking. But they have exchanged information, this, this sequence and acknowledgement number, that will allow them to send large amounts of data, multiple packets, and ensure that no data is lost during the transmission. And in the next installment, we're going to continue looking at these headers.